Bob Scott, I received that threat from prison warder, says lawyer. Care or don't care? This news came out um, today. News of it um, was coming out, I believe, for the past couple of days. Uh, this is Isaac Buchanan, attorney at law, representing Vibes Cartel. Um, he has confirmed the mumblings out there that his client received a death threat from a prison warder who is an employee of the Department of Correctional Services. I spoke to him and lodged a, lodged a report with senior officials of the Department of Correctional Services, the DCS. This is a serious allegation, confident that the DCS will be doing an internal investigation because they take threats of this nature very seriously. Officials have a job to do. Inmates have to be housed, so there has to be some balance in terms of interaction between inmates and prison officials. So what he said to Dan Sal Mag. Um, there's also some new pictures of him. Yeah, I saw that those. Came out as well. Um, but apparently ever since him um <coughs> him transferred to GP, <coughs> there's been problems. Mm. Apparently. News of threats and all these things and um the warders of pre say yo from him reach him about like him run things and all these sort of things that have been in the rumblings. Care or don't care. It's a serious allegation. It is. Um I don't know if the people in Tower Street GP are more if the wardens are I mean, I guess more frightening than the other ones. The other wardens or they're they're more of a gully fan than, more than Gaza fans. Like you know, but you're in the. You really think them things would, would fall into play with this? I'm just joking. I mean, I'm joking yeah. very. I, I, there's truth in jokes, mm. but I'm joking. I don't really think they would take that over. But I'm sure there, as there's a Vada fan, there's going to be a Gaza fan. So mm. I'm sure the Gaza fan would treat him good. So I, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what the reason. I don't know if it's true or not true. I'm assuming I, I like to wait until investigations are done and once they're concluded and once I see it, I can determine what's true or not true from what they decide to share from the investigation. I was just a um, couple months ago that Tommy Lee was beaten up while in prison. Allegedly. Well, allegedly. Mm -hmm. We saw footage, but you know, mm -hmm. it wasn't really clearly shown that... that um, it was Tommy Lee. But his team did come out and say something in response to yeah. it, right? So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so there's serious allegations that death threats and, mm. but like, and harassment then, and all these things. Like, yeah, how are you going to kill him? Like, he's... How are you going to kill him? No, meaning... <laughs> like, you know, prison go. So no, bad. but it's weird. Like, he's a high-profile inmate. Like, his death would be cause for serious internal investigation and people will be held accountable for it. He's like a high, high profile inmate. So just killing him would be futile in any in any sense. Mm. And then I'm, but I'm wondering if his if his um uh, ops, like enemies mm. from outside and that's infiltrated inside. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm just we're all just speculating. Yeah. I don't know if it's true or not. I, I hope it isn't true. Of the reports, I read from Urban Islands. Mm -hmm. Right? So they're saying. I have to really watch them, you know, because remember with the Renee 630 thing, they reposted this eight days ago, but it was a long time. I'm so upset. That was up with the SEO. I'm but so I upset. Really them. I don't know if I didn't manipulate the SEO I'm in some so way. I'm so upset. Yeah. Um, the, where they go up on the article, it yeah. was dated. Because it said the, eight the days time. ago, but yeah, then when you Google. read it, no, it's like. That was some SEO sorcery. I, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> The sources allege that since Vibes Cartel was moved to GP in September for an interview revealing that he and his fiancée were engaged, ramping shop artists has been harassed by prison warders. The latest incident occurred November 9 where tensions rose after a broken cell phone was found within the area where Vibes Cartel is housed and wardens sought to blame Cartel. You think that dual interview thing and him going live <laughs> on Instagram and posting and commenting at his profile, you think maybe that it was instructed? We're going into, is it me? 
X conspiracy shit. around X-Files shit right now, but you think that something like that would go on like an edict was passed to the world and say, hey, crack down upon him? Maybe an edict to say, well, you know, keep a close eye on him, mm. ensure that, you know, nothing like this happen because it does look poorly on them, on the Jamaican prison system that he's able to have contraband, mm. a phone and um internet <laughs> is contraband essentially in prison you know so for him to have access to these things um to be able to record allegedly in prison and on him something there is like it's like a slap in the face um to the justice system penal system you know it like is it it makes no sense yeah. and you know it goes and then it goes to show like the corrupt and um <laughs> the corrupt um way how today the system the corrupts the the corrupt the corruption in the system mm. my brain is frazzled yeah, I apologize <laughs> yeah the corrupt the corrupt system mm. you know and it 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 looks poorly on them it's a bad reflection on the whole overall ju- ju- penal mm. system in in in, speci- in specifically so you know I guess maybe they, maybe they, maybe it is a definitive, um, wait, I say no, memo passed mm. to and say, make sure that you crack down on Mr. Adija Palmer and make sure that he's, he's not in access to anything, blah, 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 blah. But maybe, I don't think the harassing is, is said, but maybe it's like an unspoken thing, you know, mm. to harass him without, if that's the case. Um, but whatever the case it is, is wrong. I mean, prisoners are humans with human rights and to violate them in any way shape or form it, the system will be violating them and that that never fly well in any case so you know i hope that they do an investigation and if somebody's harassing him out of turn meaning he's like one specific person i take it upon themselves for like cause harm and um and unease to him Unwarrant, unjustifiably so, you know, the person will be held to the full extent of the law. I think you go hear about this on a new EP, The Appellant, mm-hmm. dropping in December. Mm-hmm. All right, people, we're taking a break out of this podcast to big up our sponsors. Utopia Life Herbal, so cannabis and culture combined for one of a kind experience. You can visit them at 10 West King's House Road, just across from the Canyon and Embassy. Also, you can. Follow them on Instagram at Itopia Life or visit their webpage at itopialife.com for the latest info on strains and merch. This podcast is also brought to you by Pure24, pure natural supplements designed to enhance the body and mind. They make supplements affordably, effective, and easy to use. You can visit their website at pure24store.com. Their products ship all across the world. I don't know if they can use that promo code, The Fix, to get 15% off all purchases. That's promo code, The Fix. To get 50% off all uh, purchases. Last but not least, we have got Rich Cuts Barbers for the richest of cuts. Cha-ching! We got Rich Cuts Barbers located at Nine Branch Trough Square. You can follow the boy Steve at the surgeon underscore on Instagram. I just found it coincidental that the announcement of this new EP and the Japan then with this news. That's it. Mm, true. Yeah. I don't put it I don't put it past Cartel and team to make this a part of the whole marketing mm. of the project. True. And why not? Because I mean you know, you're right. And then a would, picture drop to it wouldn't be the first it be, like if is he move cause he's in is it the first time he's in GP? No. Exactly. So like the harassment would have come from a long time. I don't know. It is what it is. Then we'll do it. If them, then we'll do them investigation and then we'll see. If not, good on Isaac for the, the promo.
me like James Brown Coming to town, I got Least sheet and bang around, I got Bitches from town to town, I got Millions trapped in the celly account, I got Contraband, now me sell it up on And me change accent, pan the celly la found Look how far, man how far out from In the street, loud in the dumb plan Me had my day talk, no ton gun man Them did want me walk the street, dog I'm mad Look how far, man how far out from Again, all brothers no friends If we live in a dream, then that's a life without end Seeing the schemes, cause your eyes was open But we're heart it clean, so we ever golden Tenth of days, yeah Learn along the way, eh. 